Hello everyone and welcome to Tipsy where we actually provide you with top predictions based on a lot of criteria. And you may actually wish to know how we actually get these predictions. Of course, we are now using our own best AI intelligent tool that actually analyzes matches based on a lot of criteria. After which we manually make these picks and go further to use third party sites such as SofaScore and Bet Explorer to make sure that we check for the form of the team, the home and away performance of that team, as well as top scorers. And if this actually meets our need, then we actually come to share them with you. We can therefore say these predictions are over 90% accurate and you can actually make your bet picks and analyze and include in your bet slip. Therefore, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for new post notifications and updates. So this is actually what we have for you today. Today, we actually have eight matches to share with you. And you can as well check our handpick 2 plus out from the website link below this video description. And as a quick reminder, please do not include all of these games in one single slip. Make sure to pick a maximum of four or five matches per slip so as to increase your chances of winning by up to 100%. So that being said, the first match in our list is actually in the Slovakia Fortuna Liga. It's actually a match between SK Slovan Bratislava playing versus FC Vion. Here, if you look at the standings here, we have Slovan Bratislava in the first in this stand, having played 17 matches, winning 12 games, draw 2 and lose 3, scoring 35 goals and conceiving 17 as compared to its opponent in the 10th position that has played 16 games, winning 4, draw 6 and lose 6, scoring 22 goals and conceding 26. This time, if we look at the form between these two, we are going to see that Bratislava, of course, has a better form. So this is it here. You can see they have a better form. But of course, uh, its opponent is also very offensive in scoring capacity. This time, if we look at the performance rate of Bratislava, they are really offensive and good, same way as its opponent. In this case, we are not going to choose any particular team as the favorite. If we now look at the head-to-head -head between these two, we are going to see that from this head-to-head, -head, of course, they have actually met this year once, and uh, Slovan Bratislava played home, and it beats its opponent. This time... Uh, we are going since two of the teams are very offensive and they are good in scoring. Based on our background check, we are actually expecting an over 1.5 goal here as one of the best possibilities, or an over 2.5 goal as the next possibility. The next match in our list is actually in the in the Slovakia Fortuna Liga, but this time is between Spartak uh, Trnava playing versus Zemplin. That's MFK Zemplin. Here, if we look at the standing, uh, Trnava has a better stand having played 17 games winning 9 as compared to its opponent that has played 17 winning 6 scoring 19 goals conceiving 25 as its opponent that has scored 29 conceiving 16. If we look at the form between these two we are going to see that both of these teams have good forms but this time if we look at the performance rate we are going to confirm from the performance rate that both teams are good. Now if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two teams they have actually met twice and we always record an over 1.5 as well as an over 2.5 so it's a good option to actually go for an over 1.5 goal as one of the best possibilities as well as an over 2.5 goal the next match in our list is actually in the, in the uh, Slovakia Fortuna Liga but this time is between Dark FK Dark playing the team, uh, versus FK uh, Zomberok here if we look at the standings we are going to see that Dun Strada is in the second in his stance Having played 17 matches, winning 10 with 32 goals, conceding 15, as compared to Ruzon Berok that has played 16, winning 5, draw it and lose 3 with 19 goals, conceding 16. If we look at the form between these two, we are going to see that uh, Dune Strader has a better form. This time, if we look at the performance rate of Strader, they are good as compared to Ruzon Berok. This time, if we look at the head to uh, the performance, the head to head between these two, we can see that this year they have met twice. And we have always recorded an over 1.5 and over 2.5 as well as an over 3.5. But to stay on the safe side, an over 1.5 goal or an over 2.5 goal is the best possibilities to go for in this game. The next match in our list is actually in the Costa Rica. It's actually a cup, Costa Rica Cup. 
It's a match between Deportivo Saprisa playing versus CS Uruguay de Coronado. If we look here, because it's a cup, we have no stable here to show. But of course, if we look at the performance rate of Saprisa based on our background check, they are better as compared to its opponent. This time, if we look at the head to head between these two, we are going to see that they have actually met this year 2022 with Saprisa playing away, but it still beat CS Uruguay 4 is to 0. This time, Saprisa is actually coming home. We are therefore expecting Saprisa to take that home chance. And therefore, we are actually expecting Saprisa to actually win as one of the best possibilities in this game. As well as the second possibility, we are actually expecting the fact that uh, we are actually expecting uh, the fact that an over 1.5 goal is actually very possible in this game. So the next match in our list, the next match in our list is actually in the, the Negaruga Premier League. This is actually uh, a the match between Managui FC playing versus CD Sibaco. Here, if we look at the standing here, we are going to see that from the standing. We have Managua as a better stand, having played 15 matches, scoring 5, uh, winning 5, 23 goals and conserving 18. But Sabaco has not yet played any match in this stance. Therefore, of course, if we look at the performance rate of Managua, they are not that bad. But now, if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two, we are going to see that the, all the times they have actually met as, a recorded, as recorded statistics, there is always an over goals that has been recorded here. So it is not a good possibility since we cannot see the performance rate of Sebaco, we cannot uh, conclude that Managui is going to win. Therefore, the best choices to go here is an over 1.5 goal as one of the best possibilities, an over 2.5. you want to go for a straight win, then you can choose Managua, but it's not a good idea to choose a particular team as a favorite. So an over goal is the best to go for. The next match in our list is actually in the World Cup friendly. It's actually a match between... Lion City, Cello FC, playing versus Borussia Dortmund. If we look here, because it's actually it's a, it's, a, uh, it's actually uh, the friendly. If we go down and try to look the performance rate of Dortmund, we have only Dortmund being performing as the only performance shown here, and Dortmund is actually in the great uh, is is greater based on our background check in performance as compared to Lion City. So if we actually look at the head to head this time, of course. We don't have any head-to-head -head here, but based on the performances of Dortmund and the background check, Dortmund has more offensive and they are more defensive as compared to the opponent. Therefore, we are actually expecting Dortmund to win as a straight win in this match as one of the best possibility. Second possibility, we are actually expecting an over 1.5 goal to occur in this game. And the third possibility, we are also actually expecting an over 2.5 goal as the next possibility in this game. The next match in our list is actually in the Fortuna Liga uh, it's actually, okay, of course, we have already narrated this. It's actually, as we said, it's in the Slovan, but uh, it's actually in the Slovakia Fortuna Liga, Slovan Bratislava playing versus its opponent. And we said an over 1.5 goal here is one of the possibility. An over 2.5 goal is the second possibility because both of the team have great forms. And based on the head to head between the two, we can see that most recent Bratislava actually won. Of course, its opponent will want to try every means to put a goal in this game. Therefore, we cannot use a particular team as a favorite, even though Bratislava is the top of this uh, table. We are going to go for an over 1.5 goal as one of the best possibilities, as well as an over 2.5 as the next possibility. The next match in our list is actually in the Europe Champions League. Women is actually a match between Zurich women playing versus Olympic Lyonnais. That's, that's uh, Olympic Lyon. That's Lyon. It's actually, um, uh, if we look at the standings, we are going to see that based on the classification, we have Lyon being better as Zurich. But of course, both of these teams are good in offense. Lyon especially is very offensive. And they have more chances of scoring. You can see from the performance rate of Zurich also great. As you can see, they are too high in scoring. Same way as Lyon. They are actually very high. They play with, uh, you can see, because they are playing with very stronger teams like Juventus and Asena. They are very strong. That's why you can't see a lot of goals here. But because they are going to meet with Zurich, that is always almost with forms. All the two are in forms and their offense is great. We are expecting more goals. This time, if we look at the head-to-head -head between these two, we are going to see that they have actually recorded uh, three records here based on the head-to-head -head met in the previous years. And you can see that whenever these two teams meet, there are all, a lot of goals that has been registered. We have nine goals, eight goals, nine plus three, that's 
12 goals. And of course, still because both of them still have good offense, we are actually expecting even more goals here. So an over 1.5 goal is a good possibility to go for. An over 2.5 is also a good possibility and even an over 3.5 goals. But to stay on the safe side, an over 2.5 is the best option to take. So these are actually what we have for you today. You can as well check our handpick 2 plus out from the website link below this video description. Thank you very much for watching. Do not forget to like, comment and subscribe and enable the notification bell icon so as to receive new post notifications and updates. See you again in our next episode. Bye-bye. And now I know my heart is a ghost town.